Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Donnie and today I am going to show you how you can format the cell if that cell contains a date that is already like less than 30 days to go. So this can be useful if you're sort of like uh, tracking a certain project or task and you want to get a warning that that date is already due in like 30 days or whatever number of days that you want. You just have to modify the formula that we are going to get. But in this scenario, we want to uh, put a color on the cell. So we're going to use, in that case, conditional formatting. But unfortunately, it's quite a complex problem. So if you go to home and just use the regular conditional formatting, you will not really see anything here that can really help you about the scenario we're in. If it is less than 30 days, it should turn red or something. So we need to use the new rule of conditional formatting. But before we go there, first, it would help if we could generate the formula here in Excel so that we just have to transfer the formula okay, in the conditional formatting later. So the first thing that we want to create is if that date under column B is already less than 30 days to go. So what we're going to do is if, and then we get that date because that date is in the future. So we should sort of like get that date and less what date it is today. So we have to remember that dates are actually just numbers in Excel and it's just formatted in a date format. So dates can be subtracted or added. Okay, So like what we're doing here, we're getting the more futuristic higher date, less the one today. If it, that is less than 30 days, then comma, then if you are familiar with the if statement, then this is the time you identify what will show up in case it's true. So let's say it's ending soon. Okay. Otherwise, just don't show anything. So our logic is that if that cell and then minus okay, today is less than 30, then it's ending soon. So if we hit enter, you should see that August 23rd is ending soon because as uh, mentioned, this is already, today as I record this uh, video is August 21st and we have to uh, warn the person that it's less than 30 days. So we see here we have September 1st, which is coming soon as well. October 22nd and September 20, on the other hand, are not 30 days to go. Remember that um, August has 31 days. So having this is uh, September 20 is not included. If you want to include September 20, then you may want to say if it's less than or equal to 30 days. So that would also include September 20. So because September 20 is 30 days as well, exactly 30 days from today. Now we have one problem. Okay, so it's working, yes, but August 10 is being indicated as ending soon. August 10 is already in the past. So unfortunately, it's also satisfying the condition okay, that it is ending soon because um, if we subtract that August 10 minus the day-to-day, -day, it will be a negative number because it's in the past. So we have to sort of like remove that condition. So we have to use end to uh, combine logical tests. So the end function's job is to combine logical tests. So we already have our first one here. And the next one that we want to check is if that date is already uh, a negative number, then it should uh, be not included. So what we're going to do is that we're going to repeat the formula that B2 minus today, but it has to be greater than zero so that we're only limiting the results to positive numbers only, so meaning dates in the future. So it will not harm August 23rd and September 1st, but let's see if we drag it all the way down, if August 10 will now remove the ending soon, because it now failed to satisfy the condition that if we subtract the date in the future minus date to date, it must be a, a positive number greater than zero, so it's not going to con it's not going to meet the conditions of end wherein both conditions have to be true. So 
it's now not ending soon, but rather the false value, which is none. So now that we have the formula here in our cell, we can actually now make this as the formula for our conditional formatting. So I'm going to copy this formula. Okay. And I'm going to highlight the cells that I want to apply conditional formatting on. So we're going to highlight this and then go to Home. And then go to Conditional Formatting. And then this time I'm going to go to New Rule. So New Rule will allow us to create formulas okay, for our conditional formatting. So I'm going to click Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to paste the formula over here. Don't forget to put the equal sign. And now we're going to select Format. And we're going to choose our fill color. Let's say this one. Click OK. And click OK one more time. And as you could see, we now have colored the cells. Okay, if it is ending soon. All right? So here you can you have two options. You could have a cell that contains that, or you could just have the date on the cell column B react, okay, instead of relying on another cell. So it's up to you which approach you want to do, but both options are sort of like the same. It's just the same formula, I mean. It's just this one, of course, will utilize the if statement while applying color would utilize the conditional formatting option. And for now, I hope this video helped you in some, in some way. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section and uh, I'll be happy to answer your question as, so, as soon as I see it, if I can answer it, of course. And if ever this video helped you, we appreciate a like and subscribe in the channel. It really helps us create more videos for you. But for now, this is it. Okay, and I'll see you in the next one.